In this example, we are given that the sphere of radius 3.5 centimeter and mass 250 gram floats on liquid at 20 degree centigrade. As temperature is increased, the sphere just begin to sink at 35 degree centigrade. And it is also given that if liquid density at 0 degree centigrade is 1.527 gram per centimeter cube, we are required to find coefficient of cubical expansion of liquid. And it is also given that we need to neglect the expansion of a sphere. We just find out the density of a sphere. In this situation, we can state the density of a sphere is equals to that is mass upon volume. Uh, the mass of a sphere is 250 gram. The volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. The radius given is 3.5 cube. If you just calculate its numerical value, it will turn out to be 1.396 gram per centimeter cube. And here it is given that this is a constant as we are required to neglect the expansion of a sphere. Now, if we find out the density of liquid at 0 degree, it is 1.527. And at 35 degree centigrade, the sphere just begin to sink. That means the density of a sphere and density of liquid becomes equal. So we can say at 35 degree centigrade, density of liquid is equal to density of a sphere. And density of liquid at 35 degree centigrade, we can write as density of liquid at 0 upon 1 plus gamma liquid 35, which is equal to density of a sphere. We just substitute the numerical values for it. We can write 1.527 by 1 plus gamma of liquid into 35 is equal to 1.396. On solving, we just cross multiply the relation on both sides of equality. We will get Gamma of liquid is equals to 1.527 by 1.396 minus 1 and 1 by 35. On solving the result, we'll be getting is 2.681 into 10 to power minus 3 per degree centigrade. That will be the answer to this problem.